Early and dry around here. The winds of winter have blown yet another snowstorm into our area. KDK meteorologist Kristen Emery focused on that last night and pretty much nailed it. All right, so what's next? We have round two on the way. And you know, it's funny, everybody wanted snow for Christmas and we didn't have any. And then everybody said, oh, it's too warm. I want snow, I want snow. And then we got snow and now everybody doesn't want it anymore. So <laughs> we have another round just to make your Monday more of a Monday. We'll see more snow showers on the way in the afternoon. The morning commute, it could be a little slick with what's left over on the roads from tonight, but the accumulating snow is done for tonight. We're left with cloudy skies and temperatures that are going to drop down into the lower teens. We could even see some single digits north along the I-80 corridor by tomorrow morning, and wind chills will be in the single digits lower teens for most of tomorrow. 18, the current temperature in Pittsburgh, we're down to a wind chill that feels like 6 degrees. As we look around the area, Look at this temperatures in the teens already across much of the region down along I 70. The cold air hasn't quite dropped that far to the south. We still have 20s from Washington, Wheeling, Waynesburg down to Morgantown. And then as you head to the north already down to 18 in Newcastle, Clarion, you're already down to 11 degrees. So as we head through the overnight hours, the temperature continues to drop. The clouds stick around. We may get a little peak of sun for a minute or two tomorrow morning. Morning, but not a lot. So as far as the snow, we're done with that for now. You see the last couple of little flurries moving southeast of I-70, uh, south of I-70 and southeast of our area as we head through the next half an hour. Most of the activity, there you see Uniontown, maybe a flurry left for the next couple of minutes. And then we have quiet weather as we head through the overnight hours. But here's round two, taking shape up over Minnesota, portions of Wisconsin. That next system drops down through the Great Lakes as we head through the morning tomorrow. And by tomorrow afternoon, it will be in our area. So here's future cast. Not a lot going on tomorrow morning. There's 6 a.m. We have just mostly cloudy skies, chilly temperatures, maybe a peak of sun for a minute, but the clouds will win out by lunchtime. And then here's 2 o'clock. We start to see snow showers pushing in from the northwest again. And by mid afternoon, everyone has snow showers. By the evening commute, snow showers spreading all across the area. And then by around 2, 3 a.m., it all starts to die down again by the morning. Tuesday morning, we should be down to just a couple of flurries. And then Tuesday will be a pretty quiet day. We'll still have cloud cover, but boy, behind this next system, the bottom really drops out for the temperature. By Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll watch the temperatures drop and we'll be close to zero for some overnight readings. Now, how much snow tomorrow? Tomorrow evening through Tuesday morning, generally one to two inches of snow up along I-80 into the north and over into the Laurel Highlands. We could see a couple of areas get three to maybe four inches in the highest elevations, but generally just a couple of inches, one or two. So 12 degrees, the overnight low tonight. Seven day forecast shows we're up to 31 for the high tomorrow. Afternoon, evening snow showers tapering off in the wee hours of Tuesday morning. Tuesday, we're up to 28 with just cloudy skies. Here's that cold air. Wednesday, 21, and we're down to zero by Thursday morning. Finally, Friday, Saturday, we get back up close to freezing.